Member for Richmond South Centre. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Continuing from my previous statement on March 6, on Saturday, March 23rd, in partnership with the City of Richmond and the Richmond Garden City Conservation Society, my office had a support of over 120 volunteers who came together to plant the fourth Miyawaki Forest in B Richmond, BC. While working, I had some discussion that I wish to share in this chamber. The volunteer present were very diverse, and based on conversation, conversations, the majority were comfortable with Mandarin more than English. Some mentioned how they were frustrated by the discrimination against Chinese Canadians, who are often portrayed as individuals who came to this country merely to benefit from services, beauty, and abundance, and who do not contribute, sacrifice, or care about our community. My experience proves quite the contrary. As MLA, I have witnessed how often Chinese Canadians have taken on a leadership role in fundraising for many important causes, such as health care, environmental sustainability, and cultural exchange. When it comes to volunteering, as evidenced by the recent Miyawaki Forest planting and invasive species removal, Chinese Canadians come out in strong numbers to serve causes that beautify, better, and benefit our neighborhoods. In my community hubs, the seniors volunteer their time to help other seniors improve their English and self-care. Chinese Canadians' contributions serve as a great reminder of how multiculturalism truly empowers our province to become a better place for all. Multiculturalism also helps Richmond benefit from other groups such as Ukrainian, Filipino, South Asians, English, German, Scouts, and Irish, as they each bring their own unique, culturally rich perspectives to beautifying and bettering Richmond in meaningful, significant, and constructive manners. However, where individuals use cultural differences and language barriers to spread misinformation and disinformation, it ultimately fosters conditions where racism and discrimination thrive. That is why it is crucial to combat against disinformation and misinformation while nurturing social connectedness, truth, and open dialogues, so that multiculturalism can truly thrive and continue to enrich our community.